Hi guys, I just wanted to do a quick haul video here showing some stamps that I purchased from Funky Kits. It's a UK company and um, they were having a really good sale on their um, Gorgeous Girl stamps. Unfortunately, I'm sorry that I didn't get this made soon enough that, um, that you know, the, the sale is still on as far as I know. Um, but it was like you get the stamps for I think like six something um, per stamp when they're normally eight or nine is what I've I've seen them um, for typically so I'm just gonna quickly go through because I want to show those to you um, and I only ordered ten of the stamps and afterwards I almost went back to order more but they weren't on sale anymore and that's all right. I didn't need any more. So, um, so the first one is this. I gave you my heart. She's super cute. Um, she's got the little notebook paper with the heart on it, and I love her little little stockings. These are my first Roger School stamp, so um, I'm excited about these. Um, this is the back of it, so you can see it's like this gray rubber stamp, and it's mounted, which I love because I don't want to mess around with mounting them if I don't have to. Um, which is one thing I don't like about the Stamping Bella card, um, stamps. I love them, but I just, uh, it just takes me forever to get them mounted. Um, here's another one. This is the Poppy Wood. Um, I wasn't sure from this picture if it would have the trees in the background or not, but it does not. It just has the little gorgeous girl and the poppies, which is totally fine. It's um, super cute. And then this one is Alice. She looks like she's falling with her cards. Um, I'm sure it's a take on Alice in Wonderland, of course, but I um, thought some days how we all feel, isn't it? Um, and she's cute, too. Forever. And this one is called Fallen. Um, I have wanted this one for a really long time. Um, Laura, who is the Robin Laura here on YouTube, has made some really adorable cards with this stamp, and it's good size, you can see. She's really cute. And to paper piece her and use my Copics. I'm really excited um, about that. So it's her and then Winter Friend. I think this is so cute with the little polar bear. Adorable. Her little dress and boots. Cute. And then this one is the Winter's Night. And it's, she's a little bit hard to see kind of dark and I'm sorry if there's glare guys um, but yeah I love her long winter coat that's what we wear here in Minnesota stay warm so she's got her scarf and her long flowing hair and I don't think I'm gonna be able to color like that but I'm gonna try um, and then here's the the pretend friend she's cute um, I just I liked this one too because I thought you know you could change out what's in her hand and paper, you know, change this out or she could be alone there too and holding something else or not holding anything. Um, so I thought she'd be fun to play with. So there she is. Oops. All right. I almost knocked my camera over. Sorry. <laughs> you got dizzy. And then here's this one called Little Red with her little red cape. Super cute. And um, she's a good size stamp too. These are all pretty big, and I love the big red apple there. So, very fun. Um, yeah, I like these a lot. And then I got some clear ones, too, just because they only had them in the clear. Um, this one is so ruby. She's adorable with her little kitty on her lap. I don't know if you can see that. And then there's a cat and the little booties. And then there's a little... Um, so this is nice, I guess. I don't know what their angel policy is, but they have a little stamp on here that has Santoro's Gorgeous, so I don't know if you could stamp that on the back of your card or whatever you, your image. Um, and this is the same thing. This is called The Collector, and I just liked how she was sitting a little different. Um, and then there's some bows and hearts here, so... Um, anyway, I was really happy with this order. It, um, I was like, just excited. I went back, and again, like I said, I, it was too late. They were no longer on sale, but I should check again. 
occasionally. Um, and somebody said that they may not have a manufacturer for these stamps anymore, so um, I'm not sure. I, I don't know what the story is on that. Because um, I went back to the site and they were regular price, and I, I thought they were clearancing them out. So um, Anyway, I did a tag swap with Stuffagirl1 here on YouTube. Um, it's really easy. Um, just stamp an image on a shipping tag. You can add some other twine or bind, you know, binding or other little goodies with it, but that's not required. Um, it, she does them occasionally, and it was just really fun. You do 20 tags and send them in. It's fun, easy, fast, and you get lots of neat images and spurs you on to, uh, buy some of these stamps. It's like a little enabling thing. So um, anyway, this this first one is really cool. It's like this date. Remember this. Authorized. So it's a cool stamp. And some of these say what they are on the back and some don't, but I'm not going to show the backs because people have their addresses on them and I just I want to be wary of showing that information on YouTube. So if there is something on here that I should be showing. This one is super cute. It has this beautiful maple leaf on it. And then this adorable little owl stamp. Which is like getting two tags in one. And then this is super cute. It's a little Halloween house. I really like that. That's neat. And then there's another little tag in there too. So I think I can show this one. So it's just a website there for Silent J Scraps. And then, oh, I have this image. This makes me want to get it out and actually use it. <laughs> it's, um, I have it. I'll have to, have to use it for some Christmas cards. That's neat. And then this is the one that I did. This is one of them. I did two different images, ten tags each. It's a little camera stamp. This is from Joanne's, and then on the back I added a um, little extra tag that has my information on the back, and then has a little um, Say Cheese um, Polaroid. I think this is a Meyer Road stamp set. So, And then this one's really fun, flowers, and they added some nice fibers. Where does everybody get their fibers? I, I've i seen some at Joanne's, or not Joanne's, Hobby Lobby. And I said Joanne's before on this, the stamp that is... This camera stamp is from Hobby Lobby. Um, I'm, I always, I never really know where I should go for these cool fibers. So this is neat. And then um, this has a little extra tag on it, but this is such a cool, it's like a bingo card, but then there's all kinds of extra. The lace, that is so pretty. Really pretty. And then this one. Really nice. And this is adorable. I totally want want this little guy here. Super cute. Um, and I love the little flower, too. Love that. Um, I need to get that. Add that to my wish list, my long list. And then this is really pretty. I think this is a La Blanche stamp, which I also have. That's beautiful. I need to get that baby out more. Um, I love this with the maple leaves, or is that oak? Oak acorns, right? <laughs> Do I know my trees? Um, and this is so cool, the flapper woman, flapper girl. Very neat. Love this. By Studio Artsy. Really pretty piano. It's beautiful. And let's see. This is cool too, like this um, spider web and pumpkin, really neat, I really like that. And really cool little, uh, I think, is this the new Tim Holtz from one of his Tim Holtz sets? But I, I really like that Halloween set this year. And they even put on, they did some coloring and put on a little Brad. And then this is cool. I'm trying to hurry here because I'm running out of time, and then I love this dress form. I'm going to have to find out what stamp that is. And these are very neat. This is like three tags together, hooked together by this cool little, it's really neat. 
very Asian. Love it. So that is it for my tag swap. Um, I just want to share that quick. Um, thanks for watching. I'll be back with another haul video. Bye.